uh, the main prelim, 4 a.m. start, uh, early doors. It's a crazy one, because they're making this for, for the Abu Dhabi audience. So yeah. generally, whatever card they do is for the is for the US pay-per-view time. Yeah. But this card here, they've, they've obviously decided, or the Abu Dhabi sheiks are paying them so much money, that they'll throw it on at their time. Yeah. <laughs> Danny posted an article yesterday where it was trending higher, this was trending higher than um, uh, Khabib versus Connor as far as pay-per-view rise on their trajectory. Whoa. But a lot of that there has to be in that region and obviously Russia as well. Uh, checking off the main prelims, uh, the bulldozer, Ottoman Aza Aitar versus the Finnish Temu Falakan. So they've got Aza Aitar as a favourite at 142 and Temu at 270. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that a guy coming in um, on his making his UFC debut is uh, the favorite here, but 11 and 0, he's a pretty heavy handed guy, like he comes to take your head off, and he does have very good wrestling chops and good wrestling base. Pakalan is a, he's a pretty slick uh, operator once it hits the mat, um, but yeah, his wrestling is not great, and his striking is, leaves a lot to be decided. Hangs his chin out there, and for such a tall guy, um, he doesn't understand his distance that well, so, that's a uh, knockout. I'm pretty confident in this one. Yeah, look, he's out of his. He's 11 and 0, and 10 of those have been finishes as well. So inside the distance. Yeah, like they haven't been against stern competition or, or good competition. Um, but Pakalan is not a huge step up in competition from the guys he's been beating. Yeah. So um, I, I think he'll carry on that undefeated streak. Yeah. Those I've done up at the moment, but check tab.co.nz this weekend and have a look. Closer to the fights. Uh, next up is the woman's bantamweight, uh, seven and two, Liana Joe Jua versus uh, Cheesecake Sarah Morales, who is the Ultimate Fighter alumni as well, season eighteen. Yep, yep. So Joe Jua is coming on, uh, coming in. This is her UFC debut. Uh, Morales is on a uh, three fight losing streak. Yeah. In the UFC record is five and five overall so pretty mixed results so with the tree fight just kind of fighting for a job on this one against especially against a debutante you should get the you know you, you should get the job done yep. but um look she's a very Morales is a very slick uh jujitsu player very good grappler once it hits the ground but she just doesn't have the wrestling to drag it to the mat uh Juju, most of her wins i believe she has four arm bars or five arm bars on their record, so she's very handy on the ground, and I feel like in this fight, her jujitsu will be strong enough um, to defend any submission attempts that Morass uh, throws at her, and I just give her a slight advantage on the feet and the striking. Uh, I got Jojo by a decision. Yeah. So Jojo is 163, Morales is 218. Uh, moving on to the next belt is a featherweight belt. Tumigo, Tahugo, Tahugo, uh, and Leon Murphy, who's making his debut, the Miracle. So does he need a miracle? Looks like that's the, the uh, odds they've got in that. So the shortest price favourite, Tahugo, is one nineteen, and Murphy is four thirty. Oh yeah. Look, Murphy is um, he's a pretty good operator. English kid. He's undefeated as well, right? Yeah, five and zero. Yeah, he's undefeated as well. Um, he's very good. He's a very good striker. He's nice. He's long. He does things very well. Reminds me kind of of uh, Leon Edwards, where a lot of setups going into his things. But yeah, so he comes a bit of a wild animal man. He comes in. He's he's pretty crazy. I trained with him in Thailand, and they call him the the he's just a rabbit dog. Like he just comes at you and will not stop. He throws overhands. He's a very strong wrestler. So I feel like yeah, he's not gonna make it the slow, well-timed kind of fight that Murphy wants it to be. He's going to press him, he's going to throw wild overhands, he's going to drag him to the mat. Um, yeah, I got Tahugo getting the job done here by decision. And to round up the prelims is Jojo Joanna Corwood from Scotland versus Andrea Lee, KGB from the US. So Lee's 11-2, she's on a seven fight winning streak. The last one was in June versus um, Montoya De La Rosa. Um, Jojo is uh, also the ultimate fighter. Um, uh, 
uh, season 20 alumni. But you got Kamora, I think, in the quarters by row in the unit. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, this is one of the more, more interesting cards, uh, fights on the card to me. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how how it plays out because Andrew Lee has a, I believe it's a four inch reach advantage coming into this. So both both girls are striking uh, strikers. They're pretty handy on the mat and they've shown great improvements in the wrestling. But predominantly both of these girls are strikers. Andrew Lee, I give her the boxing advantage and she does have the reach. Joanna, very strong kicks. She's kind of got a Muay Thai base, so she's got strong kicks and a, a, a good Muay Thai clinch. So she's good in the rap, uh, in the grapple. So this comes down to who can dictate the range of the fight. Um, I feel like the reach advantage with four inches, I have to go with Andrew Lee. I feel like she she just dictates the fight at boxing range and uh, shuts down the kicks, keeps her out of the clinching range, and, and I got Lee with the decision. Yeah, the odd mate for that too. So they got Andrew Lee at 142 and Jojo Calderwood at 270. That wraps up the prelims.